tiers for our wingers. And our wingers have tiers. So below the hash marks, this is a real tough tier for our winger. So the one on the left, you're going to see there's Patrick Line controlling that puck area, looking to make that next play. It's a long way for a winger to get down in this area and chip up the boards and get it out because of the fact that his D is probably waiting right at the, board, uh, at the blue line for it. And then there's on the right side, you've got Gabriel Bork, who's down low controlling that puck area, looking to make that next play, looking to try and make that next play or scrumming the puck and not passing his problems off to someone else. So it, there is that low, low area, that low tier. So puck gets dumped in, that's a forward. That's Patrick Line at the top of your screen. He bumps this puck back to the defenseman, and the defenseman skates, and he finds that centerman fine in the pocket. So that's an option for your winger. In that tier one, if he's got no option, and if you look back at Patrick Line, where is he going to go with that puck? He's on his backhand. What can he do with that puck? So that ability to get that puck and bump that puck back to the other side of the net for the defenseman to make that next play. Puck gets dumped in again. Same thing. Logan Shaw going back for this puck. Picking this spin, spinning puck off the boards, bumping it back to Anthony Batetto. And there's our centerman right through the blue paint in the middle of the ice for a perfect breakout because in tier one, in that lower tier, we were able to bump that puck back. Now, puck gets dumped in, our D gets first touch. No problem. There's our winger, or there's our D, I'm sorry. There's the winger at the top of your screen. He gets this puck. Now, where is he going to go with this puck? That puck's coming around the boards. It's been bumped back to him. That puck's coming around the boards. It's spinning. He's got to get that puck and look to make the next play. Well, he can't really make the next play. That's a good option, is being able to execute the flipper with a defenseman pressuring down on you. So, again, I'll ask you, have you practiced?